um, you know, what is the book about? You know, what can you give us your, you know, little elevator speech? Yeah, so it's about um, a woman who can uh, experience other people's memories and remove their memories. And she kind of gets roped into helping a homicide detective solve a serial killer case. But a lot, but it's, it's, it's called the color of trauma. And so it, it's really about, and I was noticing this, especially going through it again, but it's really about trauma and how people, the different ways that people can deal with, with how they handle the worst things that happens in their lives. So there's, it's, uh, I think when I, when I am event, when I initially submitted it for the manuscript con um, contest, I think I called it was uh, suspense. And now I've moved it to romantic suspense. Um, it had a really, it always had a really strong romance line, but now it's got, it's even stronger. So that's it. Very it's nice. got a lot of action and a lot of feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a little bit, uh, would you say fantasy or sci-fi? Is there an element of? Yes, yes, there's a speculative element to it in that people can't actually because I mean she literally experiences what another person experiences okay and so there are some empathetic people out there but you can't literally experience right okay someone else's trauma mm -hmm. I really don't want to delay this any further um Holly Smirthwaite you are the winner of this year's soon to be famous Illinois author contest for adult fiction um, <laughs> oh okay <laughs> Well, that's a uh, that's north of awesome, isn't it? <laughs> north of awesome, that's great. <laughs> uh, I gotta say though, I I I thought maybe, and I was like, don't don't think maybe, don't think maybe, because I knew the big announcement was coming on Saturday, and I was like, don't think maybe, don't think maybe, you're gonna you're gonna make yourself sick. Oh my God, thanks you guys. <laughs> this is the best I could do was to have a, a fake practice session with just you. There's nobody else coming. Yeah, no one else is coming. <laughs> this is just like last time. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to figure out what I could do. And I thought, you know what? We had already planned doing the pandemic pros with you guys. And I said, uh, let's just do a practice session the day before. And we'll just invite only Holly and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then spring it on her. So Nikki and I talked earlier and said, hey, we'll just chat for a few minutes and then we'll just flow right into it. So congratulations. Oh, I wish I knew how to do like confetti and stuff, you know, like, <laughs> there's, like <laughs> oh yeah, like, yeah, that'd be great. Well, congratulations. We can oh, give you thank a round you, of you guys. Woo! I, I'm kind of like in shock. Like, I think like my hands are shaking. <laughs> I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's awesome. It's, you know, it's really excellent for the project too, because being that you were the uh, manuscript winner, um, you know, it hopefully shows that, you know, the um, process um, that you went through with the manuscript was um, beneficial to you, you know. Oh, this is so exciting. I cannot believe, you know, when I first, when I was originally wrote it, I was going to, I was going to traditionally publish it. Like for a long time, I was going to traditionally publish it. And then I just decided earlier this year to actually self-publish it. I'm actually probably going to tell the, my son who thinks he's always like, mama, you're an awesome writer. He's never written. He's never read anything I've written, of course, because it's all adult. But I love the support. Well, <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He'll be so excited for you. You'll get the hug that you deserve that we can't even. I can just send you a virtual one. Congratulations. I know, right? I can't be so more like... happy you're for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Great. Right, th thanks, you guys. Thank you. We'll see yeah. You thank you. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>